All right, now this is an oasis, so it's going to have some water. And as you can see, HeroScape water tiles, they're just plain blue. They're pretty pedestrian. And this is what it would look like when you snap it onto some land terrain bits. And you know, it's okay, but we can make it better. So what we're going to do is prepare a couple of tiles to represent where the water meets the shore. And I'm going to do that very simply. We're going to pick two sides and we're going to make a little crescent moon of glue. And then fill in up to the edge. And for this we're going to be a little more intentional about where we place things. The green is going to be closest to the land, typically. And you might want to use greater thickness of green than what I'm using. You can get clumpier stuff so it looks like little things growing up. But I'm just going to sprinkle a little here right along the edge that will meet the land terrain. And I am going to use a little lighter sand color so I'm going to go very light on the brown fill that I just used. I'm going to drop in just one little piece of stone and then we'll sprinkle in a little sand color. And now we have a bit of shoreline. And when we connect it to the land tile, it looks like that as opposed to the plain old HeroScape tile that looks like this. Now one little thing I neglected to mention earlier, whenever you're gluing flocking or sand onto pieces, especially these HeroScape plastic pieces, once they're good and dry, go over them lightly with hairspray and that will help keep them from coming off. It'll kind of clump it together without making it look weird and glossy like with the clear acrylic finishes that you can put on some things. All right, last thing I want to do is I've been looking for a use for these skulls that I got oh, years ago at um, Halloween time. Again, at the dollar store, there was a little mesh bag of about eight of them, and they're just simple plastic skulls, and I didn't have a good idea. So I am going to use them here, and we're going to do the same thing we did with the palm trees. We're going to glue it on and then build up things around it. And this will take more glue because I want it to look like it's at least partially buried. If you're feeling a little more brave, another way to do this would be to actually get some of the pink foam insulation and carve out a socket for it and then build up around. But this can be pretty time consuming. So I'm just going to try the simple way. And if you're fairly new to HeroScape and you're having trouble finding terrain, you're probably not very happy watching me glue and paint and add junk to my terrain because it is getting harder to find now that the game's been discontinued, although you, you still can if you look hard enough. I use two different sources for my project terrain. One is that I save all my hexes from failed projects where I don't like the result. And then I also use a lot of pieces from the Marvel HeroScape game that came out several years ago. They did, it's actually a pretty cool game. It applied the HeroScape game mechanics to Marvel characters. And it has a small master set that you can still find. I saw one online today for just 29 bucks. And it has a lot of concrete and asphalt tile that I never use. So I use a lot of those. But like I said, that game is out there and um, not too expensive because it it just didn't take off. I don't know if part of the problem was that it just didn't fit the rest of the HeroScape idea, which, you know, the whole motif of HeroScape is a mix of fantasy, sci-fi, and historical creatures, um, time traveling sort of, and being called to another place and time to battle it out. 
And I think a lot of the problem also was confusion with Hero Clicks. I know I went to at least two different game stores to ask about HeroScape and one time to ask about Marblescape and the owners of the stores confused it with Hero Clicks and directed me to the Hero Stick Hero Click stuff. So when people who are working in the industry and make their livelihood on it don't understand the distinction, that's not a good recipe for success. So that's a very long way of saying that uh, you can still find Marvelscape stuff out there and you might want to grab some of that as extras and use that tile for your projects because unless you're really into city warfare in a modern setting you're probably not going to have a lot of use for that asphalt tile in particular. Alright I've got got some rocks down, I'm going to put down some fill then I'm going to lighten it up with the lighter sand coloring and I'm actually gluing some onto the skull so that it will hopefully look like it's been buried for a long time. Alright we're going to give that little time to dry and then we're going to come back with our finished product. And here we have our completed project. It was actually pretty inexpensive save the HeroScape tiles. If you already have those it's quite easy. All it took was a thrift store salt shaker, some HeroScape terrain, a couple dollar store palm trees, a dollar store skull, a um, Walmart piece of aquarium grass and some cheap sand, rocks, white glue, and basic craft paint. If I can do it, so can you.